Welcome to Art in Sight. Artist and producer Marilyn Fairchild has created more than 300 episodes for broadcast on public access television. Over the years, Marilyn has demonstrated the techniques of working with oils, watercolors, pastels, charcoals, and more. Let's take a brief look now at some of her projects. We forgot to connect where the mast comes into the... Now I'm trying to get this straight and even and line it up, but I'm also dab to. I wanted to get a little lighter on it, but I have to keep... And move on to a new thing I've got to try for you. So let's get this on a tiny bit down to some of these areas. So it doesn't use that as my brace. My hand doesn't shake when I come down and try to go right in these little fine places. Uh, because I've already got the other uh, where it's dried out for you. So here's what it looks like if you can get a nice piece over here, which we're going to try to come up and finish over here. As you can see, I got extra texture on it. I did this as yeah, I did. Now this is where I also had the paint on this. So here's where I'm going to try to bring some of this paint back in here. See, that's a little too pink, a little pinker than I want it. But that's all right, I can put that in here first. Now, a stream in here that's gonna kind of meander like this. Nice big S. Look at that side. When it's gonna be finished until it's finished. So you have to keep that in mind. A lot of people think, how do you know when a painting is finished? Rather than using my fingers. So this way I'm going to kind of do an up and down, just a wiggle. Oh, just a, brush. a few of these back into here. Just to give it some extra color and some pop in the back. And like there are a lot of trees going back there. <laughs> here now is a clip from episode 146. Welcome back to Art and Sight and back to basics. We're still on that series of getting back to the fundamentals of drawing. So I hope you've been able to be with us for the last few episodes and we'll be able to stay with us for some of the future ones because we're going to do a series of these on different things. And while I'm finishing this still life, we're going to talk about what is on here and what is involved with getting this uh, down correctly and drawn correctly and also aesthetically pleasing. So we're going to get into some of these with values and other things as well. But right now we've been talking about the elliptical ratios and being able to get a, in a symmetrical object where it has equal sides. We did that with the bottle, the wine bottle. And we also went over whether or not to leave it in the paper or take some artistic license and go off the page with it because you don't want the top of a bottle or the, something to be stopping right at that edge of the paper where the frame will be going over because that makes it look like you're saying, oops, I ran out of paper, so I better stop. Well, that's you know not really the wisest thing to do sometimes, so that's when you have to take what we call artistic license. Well, you better know what you're doing when you're doing that. So that's why I was showing how you can make that change uh, with the last episode. Now we're getting into this, this bottle that's a canister. It's actually one of the glass jars that you would use to hold things in and keep them fresh, and it's got pasta in it. But it has different ridges that are flat. Instead of being a completely round canister, it has these little flat panels in the glass. This is Marilyn Fairchild. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, keep your brushes wet and your art in sight.